Hi guys, welcome back to the Dream Candy Club. Today we're gonna do a Littlest Pet Shop video. We have Roof with a View themed pack. So let's take a look. Dream Candy Club. Okay, now you can see that this set has lots of different parts right here, but first let's take a look at what pets we have today. Our first pet up is Russell Ferguson. Russell Ferguson is a hedgehog. And if you look, his head really, really moves. He's got the cute little hedgehog, uh, excuse me, hedgehog mohawk. And he's got a cute little green shirt with some buttons to match his beautiful green eyes. All right, so we're gonna be hanging out with him today. Next up, we have, oops, the second exclusive pet that this series comes with this playset is the cutest little pink seal I've ever seen. We have Mina Swimley. Now I think it's Mina. You guys tell me in the comments if it's Mina. It's either Mina or Minna. I think it's Mina. So we're gonna go with Mina today. Now she ha is like the cutest pink color and look at this like white detailing on her on her uh on her tail. It's so cute and she has beautiful blue eyes to go uh, to kind of contrast this beautiful pink color. And you can see she has a white chest too. She is a really, really cute little pet. Also, tell me in the comments if you guys have this one. She is adorable. Now we know our pets. We have all this stuff for this roof with a view themed pack. So let's just start arranging and getting it all together. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is chill out. So we have two nice pink uh, lounge chairs for our two guys. So we'll do that. Now we have this right here, this purple stand, and it looks like this pink umbrella goes right here. I guess they're wanting some shade. It looks like it's a sunny day out. So how about that? That looks pretty good. Now, like any sunny day, this looks like a little barbecue set. So we're gonna put this grill, how about right here? And you know what, why don't we put Russell here? He can be working on the grill, let's see. Is he gonna balance? There we go. And no barbecue would be complete without kebabs. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I have never had Oops, I have never had silver kebabs. Have you? Now tell me. Not quite sure if I'd eat these. Um, I think, these, I mean, these are kebabs, right? They look like kebabs. They just look like silver kebabs. So we're, we're, we're gonna go with it, everybody. We're gonna go with it. Okay, so we're gonna put these on the grill, get those going. And let's see what we have next. Now, Minna Swimley wants to join this party too, so she's gonna be relaxing. But while Russell is doing that barbecue, grilling everything up, you gotta have some, you gotta have some cool beverages for the sun. So we have these adorable little blue beverages. Look at this, here we go. Look at these cute umbrella drinks, you guys. This is so, so cute. It looks like they're drinking like a blue Hawaiian punch. Delish. And although this scene comes with a beautiful little roof uh, backdrop, you can see if we tilt up a little, there's a plane, a plane up here, a nice cityscape. And we have Russell tending to that barbecue. And I'm always, I'm always up for some good decor. So they've also given us this little tree right here. Let's see this little tree. And if you see this, it's actually more of a shrub. And if you look, you see these holes right here that, and right here, that is for decorating. And they gave us some decorating uh, bits too. So let's take a look at those. Okay, so we're gonna take our little shrub and look at this. We have a cute little yellow detail, a nice little yellow flower. We're gonna just snap right in there. There we go. And then we have two little green ones that we're gonna put on. They're more of a lime green, so they're a different color green than the shrub, as you can see. And why not a little star? Every tree deserves a star, right? Why not? All right, and now we have decorated our own little tree. So why don't we go ahead and put it 
How about right there next to beautiful Minna? There we go. Now Russell is ready to serve up this barbecue, but you can't serve without your serveware. So we have this. So we're gonna take our kebabs. Let's see, can we do it? Can we do it? Oh, we can't do it. Here we go. Minna, Minna, take it, take it. You're a seal. We can just throw it at your mouth, right? Woo. Okay, that might not have worked out so well, but now we have the kebabs right there ready for our two little pets to eat. Uh, so what do you think they're gonna talk about? What would they talk about? Uh, hey, hey, Minna, uh, are you gonna watch the, uh, the Macchio uh, Mayfeather, Mayfeather uh, Mayweather fight? Are you gonna watch the big boxing match this weekend? Boxing? No, absolutely not. I don't like fighting. Fighting is for losers. It's all about, I'm all about peace and love. You know what? I have to agree, Minna. We're, we should all be about peace and love. No boxing for us. Okay, I may have just done like three different voices right there, but you guys won't fault me for it, right? Right? Okay, guys, that is it. That is our whole set. So what kind of story would you put with uh, Russell and Minna? You can tell me in the comments if you like. Also, make sure before you go to hit that subscribe button for new videos every day and the chance to win one of our play sets every month. Thanks for watching the Dream Candy Club. Join our club. Subscribe now. Jenna, nice to see you. Um, actually, I wanted to talk to you about something. D do you have a minute? Sure. Well, you know how I was helping you with Madison? Yeah, oh, speaking of Madison, I just had pizza with her, Molly, and Brody. Oh, you did? Yeah. How did that go? Uh, it was okay. Not that great, actually. Really? <clears throat> I, I mean, um, r really? It's just, I never had the chance to talk with Madison one-on-one -on -one before. And when I finally did, it just wasn't what I thought it would be. What do you mean? I always thought Madison was the most beautiful pet in the pet shop. Right, we all know that. But when I got to chat with her, there's just nothing there. Her personality is a real turnoff. Oh yeah, I mean, Madison can definitely be kind of shallow. Exactly, all she does is talk about herself. Oh, I could have told you that. She's also not the nicest pet around either. Really? So, Elliot, are you saying you don't want to take her to the dance anymore? Well, I do. Oh, I would love to take Madison to the dance. Wait, what? Why? That pizza yesterday was terrific, Molly. Thanks for inviting us. Yeah, no problem. Wait, you guys had pizza without me? Not on purpose. It was a double date, silly. Yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Who was your date, Molly? I, of course, went with Brody, and Molly's date was Elliot. Wait, what? You went on a date with Elliot? No, no, it wasn't a date. At all. Brody said you guys look cute together. He did? Uh, well, we're not dating. Why would you think that we're dating? Well, why would anyone else go on a double date together? It wasn't a double date. Are you saying you don't like Elliot like that? Of course that's what I'm saying. Not that, you know, there's anything wrong with Elliot. He's actually a very nice guy, which I'm sure you realized once you started talking to him. Yeah, he's okay, I guess. <gasps> Molly, why don't you go to the dance with Elliot? <gasps> what a cute idea, Minka. Guys, guys, I am not going to the dance with Elliot. We are not dating and we are 100% not going to the dance together. Jeez, Molly, you don't have to get so defensive. So you're telling me you can't stand Madison's personality, but you still want to go to the dance with her anyway? Well, kinda. Why, Elliot? Because no matter how much she talks about her hair or how many selfies she takes, 
She still is the prettiest pet I've ever seen. And if I walked into the dance with a girl like her on my arm, I'd be the envy of every other guy there. Yeah, I guess. And you know, I I've really only had one real conversation with her. Maybe she's not that bad. I think I need to give her more of a chance. <laughs> I can tell you she is who she is. That's not going to change. We all have flaws, Jenna. If I can accept Madison for hers, then maybe she can accept me for mine. Like, I'm not as popular or as good looking as her. Who am I to judge her? I guess. I just think you should be with someone who is as kind and as smart as you. Well, thanks, Jenna. Now, what was it you wanted to talk to me about? Oh, um, oh, it was nothing. I I'll see you later, Elliot. Mm. Okay, see ya. Elliot, we have to talk. Oh, hey, Molly. <laughs> What's up? We have a problem. We do? What is it? Madison thinks we are dating. What? Why would she think that? Our pizza dinner. She thought it was a double date. Really? She even said Brody commented on what a cute couple we are. Oh no. Tell me about it. This is not how I planned it at all. If Madison thinks we're dating, she'll never go to the dance with me. And Brody won't go with me. Not only do we have to break them up, now we have to make sure they understand you and I are not together at all. Well, the second part should be easy. Didn't you tell her? I did, but it's like she wasn't hearing me and Minka wasn't any help either. Wait, Minka thinks we're dating too? And God knows who else by now with the mouth she has. What are we gonna do? First, we have to stop the bleeding. Bleeding? Who's bleeding? Oh. Is a figure of speech, Elliot. We need to make sure the rumor about us doesn't spread and we need to do damage control with Brody and Madison. You have to talk to Brody. Uh, I have to talk to Brody? Yes, you have to make sure he knows the truth. Well, at least the truth we want him to know. Oh, I'm not the best at this, Molly. You know this. You have to talk to him, Elliot. It's our only chance. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. But you have to fix things with Madison. Deal. Join our club. Subscribe now. Dream Candy Club. Elliot, what did you tell him? The truth. What? It's time, Molly. Yes, it's about time. Can someone please tell me what's going on? I will, Madison. This whole thing got way out of control, but you deserve the truth. Uh, he's right, you do. The truth about what? For starters, I never wanted to break up with you. Then why did you? Because Elliot told me you were only taking me to the dance as a pity date. What? Why would you say that, Elliot? Like I said, this all got way out of control. Start explaining, mister. The truth is, I have a huge crush on you, Madison. You do? Yeah, and I wanted nothing more than to take you to the dance as my date, but I knew you would never go with me. That's where I came in. You're involved in this too, Molly? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Madison. Why would you help Elliot? Because I needed his help too. It turns out Molly has a heart for me. Wait, what? It's true. I have a crush on Brody. I told Elliot I would help him to get you to go to the dance with him if he helped me get Brody to want to go with me. But this was after Brody already asked you to the dance. So the only way Molly and I would ever have a shot is if the two of you broke up. I can't believe this. Molly, you're supposed to be my friend. Exactly. I know. I'm so sorry, Madison. I've been a terrible friend. 
I almost lost Brody over the two of you. It's all cool, Madison. I mean, at first I was pretty upset, but then I realized I should be flattered. These two like us so much, they were willing to do anything just to be with us, including hurting us. Oh, I guess that part wasn't so cool. I'm so sorry to the both of you. Our hearts were in the right place, but our minds weren't. We didn't even think of how much it could hurt you two. Do you think you can ever forgive us? Sure, I don't like to hold grudges. Madison? Well, I may not be as forgiving as Brody, but I guess I should be. Uh, I forgive you. Oh, thanks, Madison. I really appreciate you being able to see how awful we feel. And if there's anything we can do for you, just name it. Well, for starters, you're both going to have to find dates to the dance because Brody and I are going together. Wait, so I can't take you and Molly? Brody? Hey, Jenna. Oh, hi, Elliot. How did everything turn out with Madison and Brody? Well, not as well as I had hoped, obviously, but they both forgive us. Well, that's a start. Uh, can I ask you something, Jenna? Sure. Do you think I'm a bad person? No, I just think you really liked Madison and got in over your head to get her to like you back. Yes, it went too far, but your heart was in the right place. Oh, thanks. Hey, why did you even try to help me in the beginning? Because I wanted to spend time with you. You did? Yeah. Hey, Jenna, uh, any chance you would want to go to the dance with me? I would love to. <sighs> Have I ever told you that you're way easier to talk to than Madison? No, but just about anybody is. <laughs> you know, this may not have worked out how I thought it was going to, but I have a feeling this is how things should have always been. Aw, thanks, Elliot. I think so, too. Join our club. Subscribe now. Dream Candy Club! I'm telling you, Madison, that selfie you took in the hay was everything. Oh, really? I ended up picking the first shot, too. Hey, do you guys think I should still wear my hair in pigtails? I was thinking of doing like a blue ombre thing. Ah. <sighs> She has the most beautiful mane I've ever seen. Her legs aren't too bad either. <laughs> she would never give me the time of day. I agree with Molly. I think the light pink really brings out the blue in your eyes. Maybe try a down do? Attention pets, I have an announcement. The annual pet shop dance will be held next month and start precisely at 7 p.m. Get your dancing pose ready, and don't forget to volunteer if you want to be on the committee this year. That is all. Did you hear that, Elliot? The dance is coming up. You should totally ask Madison. Yeah. Are you kidding? She doesn't even know I'm alive. Look at those guys. They're practically drooling over the M&Ms. Yeah, Madison, Minka, and Molly, the most popular girls at the pet shop. Elliot's kind of shy, but he's kind of cute in, in his own way. Do you think he'll ask Madison to the dance? Maybe, but 10 bucks says she ends up going with Brody. Oh, look at him. He can be so full of himself sometimes. Is he looking at himself in the mirror right now? Come on, Elliot, you have to ask her. I'm sure she'll end up going with someone else. That's why you have to ask her now, before it's too late. 
I don't even know what I'd say. Hey, Madison, Elliot has something he wants to ask you. Dane, what are you doing? Oh, uh, hi, Madison. Dane said you wanted to ask me something? Yeah, um, well, you see, I just wanted to know, um, maybe, um, if... Hey, Madison. Oh, hi, Brody. I thought you might want to go to the dance with a slick fox like me. What do you say? Oh, sure. I'll go to the dance with you. Nice. Catch you later. What was it you wanted to ask me, Elliot? Oh, um, uh, I, uh, I, I, I just wanted to ask you if you were going to be on the committee this year. Oh, I haven't decided yet. Madison, it's time for lunch. I better go. Nice talking with you, though. Yeah, nice talking to you. So, you want to go to the dance with Madison? What? Uh, who, who told you that? I think I can help, if you want. Oh, really? <laughs> Join our club, subscribe now. Okay, hey, Jenna, if you have to know, I do want to take Madison to the dance. But it doesn't matter. She already said yes to Brody. That shouldn't stop you. She just said yes to the most popular pet here. I saw it with my own two eyes. Look, Elliot, when I said I think I can help you, I meant it. I appreciate the help, Jenna, but I can't think of any reason Madison would break her date with Brody to go with little old me. She's not going to. That's exactly what I thought. So, we have to get Brody to want to go with someone else. You think he'd go for that? Elliot, this plan is going to have to have multiple parts. First, you're going to have to get in good not just with Madison, but all of the M&Ms. Madison, Molly, and Minka. Exactly. Then we have to get Brody to want to go to the dance with someone else. By then, you'll be friendly with Madison, and you can get her to go to the dance with you. Oh, how are we going to do all of that? One hop at a time. Oh, I don't hop. I crawl. But how do I get to know Madison? She barely even knows my name. The volunteer dance committee. She just told me she didn't even know if she was going to be part of it this year. Please, the M&Ms always have to be involved in every social event. Trust me. So how does her being on the dance committee help me? Because you're going to be on the dance committee too. Me? What do I know about putting on a dance? That's not important. I'll help you. Oh, I don't know about this, Jenna. Thank you, Minka. But I don't think we will be doing a Frozen theme for the dance. I have already been to too many Frozen-themed birthday parties this year. I know. I just really love Elsa. What about instead of a regular theme, we just stick to a color palette? I like pink, white, and gold. That's such a good idea, Madison. Okay, Elliot. This is step one. You have to talk to her. Start being friendly. What do I say? We will resume the color story for the dance at the next meeting. That's all for today. Come on, Elliot. Here's your chance. You have to talk to her. Go. Oh, okay. <sighs> hey, Madison. <laughs> Join our
our club. Subscribe now. Dream Candy Club! It's not as bad as it sounds. I can explain, Minka. Just hear me out. You can explain, all right, to Madison! Wait, you can't tell Madison. Oh yeah? Watch me! Minka, seriously, please, just hear me out. There has to be something I can do for you. What does that mean? There has to be something you want that I can give you in exchange for you not telling Madison. That's disgusting, Molly. You can't buy me. We're supposed to be friends. We are friends. Ugh, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what's gotten into me. I know what I'm doing is kind of wrong. It's totally wrong. It's totally wrong, okay. But Give me a chance to fix it before you tell her, okay? Fine. Fix it, Molly, or I'll tell Madison you and Elliot are trying to break her and Brody up just so you can go to the dance with Brody and Elliot can go with Madison. <sighs> Fair enough. I just need a little time. Molly! Elliot, thanks for meeting me. Uh, I did it. Did what? I got Brody to break up with Madison. You what? Yeah. Oh no. Wait, are you not happy about this? No, I mean, uh, I know this was the plan, but things have changed. What are you talking about? Minka knows all about our plan to break Brody and Madison up. She does? Yes, she overheard us talking the other day and now she's gonna tell Madison everything if I don't stop it first. Oh no. Tell me about it. So I'm not gonna get to go to the dance with Madison? Elliot, that's the least of our problems. I'm gonna lose one of my best friends. So what do we do? Has Brody broken up with Madison yet? Uh, I don't think so, but he's planning on it. Hurry, we have to get to Brody before he finds Madison. Hi, Brody. What's up, Madison? Well, I was thinking, should we coordinate our outfits to have them match for the dance? How do you feel about sequins? There's not gonna be any matching outfits, Madison. Oh, okay. Uh, can we at least stay in the same color palette? I don't care what you wear because I'm not going to the dance with you. What are you talking about? Elliot told me everything. Everything about what? I'm not going to be your pity date. I'm dumping you, Madison. What? Uh, Brody? Do you think we're too late? It's over, Madison. Brody? We're definitely too late. Join our club. Subscribe now. Dream Candy Club! Brody really did it. He really just broke up with Madison. Well, that was the plan. Now what do we do? I'm not totally sure yet, but come on, we have to go comfort Madison. Madison, are you okay? No, I'm not! Brody just broke up with me! <laughs> he did? Yes! Sorry, Madison, that's a real bummer. And he said it was because of you, Elliot. Me? Wait, what? What did you tell him, Elliot? Uh, uh, um, Elliot, why don't you go talk to Brody? I'm sure this is just a big misunderstanding. Uh, can someone tell me what's going on? Uh, uh, oh, okay, uh, I'll be right back. Uh, don't worry, Madison, everything is gonna be fine. Elliot told Brody to dump me. Why would he do that to me? I, um, I, I have no idea. It 
sounds like I can't trust anyone. At least I have a good friend like you, Molly. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jenna. Oh, hi, Elliot. How's it going? Oh, not too great. What's wrong? I don't know. Everything? Sounds like something happened with Madison. Yeah, it did. Our plan worked. It worked? Then shouldn't you be happy? Well, it kind of backfired. And frankly, I probably deserve it. I'm not even supposed to be talking to you right now. I'm supposed to be talking to Brody. Brody? Why? What happened? I finally got Madison, well, I finally got Brody, I should say, to break up with Madison. That sounds like it was the plan to me. Yeah, but I didn't think she would be so upset. She was crying and everything. Oh, wow. And to make matters worse, Brody told her I was the one who got him to do it. Ouch. Yeah, now Madison is super mad at me, and I can't blame her. I never wanted to hurt her. I just wanted to go to the dance with her. I know, but I guess you shouldn't try to trick people into liking you. And that's the funny part. Now I've hurt her, and she hates my guts. Two things I never, ever thought would happen. What are you going to do now? What I should have done from the beginning. I'm going to do the right thing. Hey, Brody. Hey, thanks for telling me about Madison. I dumped her as soon as you said something. I'm not going to be anyone's pity date to the dance. Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The dance. Well, what about it? I guess I need to find a new date now. No, you don't. You should go with Madison. Wait, huh? You should go to the dance with Madison. I lied to you, Brody. Whoa, you what? Join our club, subscribe now. Previously on Littlest Pet Shop. If you have to know, I do want to take Madison to the dance. But it doesn't matter. She already said yes to Brody. Elliot, this plan is going to have to have multiple parts. Okay, Elliot, this is step one. You have to talk to her. Start being friendly. What do I say? <sighs> hey, Madison. Dream Candy Club. Hi, Elliot. Hey, I, I, uh, I really liked your idea to do pink, white, and gold for the dance. Thanks. Hey, when did you get interested in the dance? You've never been on the committee before. Yeah, well, I thought it could be fun. I like to try new things. Do you know who you're taking to the dance yet? Oh, no, not yet. Haven't even thought about it. I'm going with Brody. Yeah, I know. I was there. Huh? Oh, uh, never mind. Well, uh, I, uh, I'm pretty hungry, so uh, I think I'm going to go get some earthworms to eat. Earthworms? Ew. I keep to a strict diet of gluten-free hay. Oh, uh, I'll have to try that sometime. See you later, Elliot. Yeah, see you later. You did great, Elliot. Earthworms! I told her I eat earthworms. What was I thinking? Okay, you did great, maybe except for that part. But, I mean, you are a turtle. You do eat earthworms. Oh, this is never going to work, Jenna. Yes, it is. You've already talked to her more in the last couple days than you ever have, right? True. So this is all part of the plan to get closer to her. Remember, this is only part one. You have to trust me, Elliot. Okay, Jenna, if you can get Madison to go with me to the dance, I'll do whatever you say. You've got it. And please tell us why you're on the dance committee again, Elliot. 
Yeah, aren't you like the only guy there? I'm telling you guys, it's all part of the plan. I don't get it. Madison is going to want to go to the dance with you after she sees how good you are at party planning. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. I told you this plan has multiple parts. First, Jenna says I have to get to know Madison since she barely knows I'm alive. I also have to get in good with Minka and Molly. Hey, maybe you can get Minka and Molly to go to the dance with us. Yeah. Guys, I don't even know if I can get past step one. What's step two? Well, Jenna says Madison will never break her date with Brody. So we have to get Brody to want to go to the dance with someone else. That's when I swoop in. Hey, brah. You trying to steal my date for the dance? <gasps> Brody. <laughs> Join our club. Subscribe now. Previously on Littlest Pet Shop. If you have to know, I do want to take Madison to the dance. But it doesn't matter. She already said yes to Brody. Elliot, this plan is going to have to have multiple parts. Okay, Elliot, this is step one. You have to talk to her. Start being friendly. What do I say? <sighs> hey, Madison. Jenna says Madison will never break her date with Brody. So we have to get Brody to want to go to the dance with someone else. That's when I swoop in. Hey, brah. You trying to steal my date for the dance? <gasps> Brody. Dream Candy Club. Brody, I didn't see you were there. Well, I am. Yeah, um, uh, what's up? Are you trying to steal my date for the dance? Me? <laughs> no, I mean, I would never try that. I was just saying, uh, uh, I bet Brody wouldn't want to go to the dance with someone else. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's true. Madison sure is a fox. I mean, I'm a fox. She's a horse, you know, but a foxy horse. Well, uh, Nice talking to you, Brody. All right, brah. Check you later. Whoa, that sure was a close one. He totally believed you, though. What a tool. Yeah, that was a close one. But guys, now I feel kind of bad. I'm trying to steal his date right under his nose. Isn't that wrong? Brody can go to the dance with anyone he wants. Why can't you? Because he asked her first, and I still don't see why she'd ever want to go with me. Did I just see you talking to Brody? Guys, would you give us a second? What happened? Brody overheard our whole plan, but luckily I convinced him otherwise. I still don't know, Jenna. Maybe I'm not cut out for this. All you have to do is follow my plan. It's time for step two. Getting good with Madison's best friends, Minka and Molly. I can't wait to start designing my dress for the dance. Me neither. I'm thinking sequins for mine. How pretty! Hi, Minka. Hi, Molly. Uh, Madison isn't here. I think she's getting groomed or something. Oh, why do you think I'm looking for Madison? She's always the one you want to talk to. Oh, well, I wanted to talk to you guys. Really? Yeah. Uh, so, do you guys know who you're going to the dance with yet? No. Nope. Yeah, me neither. There's still a lot of time. Yeah, uh, I heard Madison's going with Brody. Yeah, and I'm still not happy about it. What do you mean? Molly! I don't care if Elliot knows. He's not going to tell anyone. 
Right? Right. Wait, what are we talking about again? Madison knows I wanted to go to the dance with Brody. And she's still going with him anyway. Really? So you want to go to the dance with Brody? Well, I did. Hmm. Look, if you can trust me with your secret, I guess I can trust you with mine. What's that? You want to go to the dance with Brody, and I want to go to the dance with Madison. Why don't we team up and help each other out? Hmm. Elliot, I'm in. <laughs> Join our club. Subscribe now. Dream Candy Club! Wow, this is an unexpected development. Isn't it great? Molly wants to go to the dance with Brody, and I want to go with Madison. Molly and I can work together now. Yeah, that's great, I guess. What? You don't think it's a good sign? No, of course it can definitely help. Molly and I are going to make a whole plan so she can get Brody to go to the dance with her and break it off with Madison. Plus, she thinks she can make it happen really soon. Are you saying you don't need my help anymore, Elliot? I think for now Molly and I are going to figure it out together. But thanks for all your help. Things are definitely looking up for me. Oh, you're welcome. I'm thinking about going to the LPS summer camp this year. It sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. You should totally come too. We can go swimming, make s'mores, talk about the M&Ms. We'll have a blast, Jenna. Sure, sign me up. What's wrong? You don't sound like yourself. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just kind of upset. About what? You know how I've been helping Elliot try to get Madison to go to the dance with him? Yeah, how's that going? It's been going fine. We were making some progress I thought, and you know, then he goes and tells me Molly actually wants to go to the dance with Brody, and now she's gonna help him try to get Madison as his date. That sounds great. I mean, wasn't that the plan all along? Yes, it was, but now he doesn't need me anymore. It seems like your job is done. Why are you upset? I don't know. I guess I like spending time with him. He's super nice, and sweet and it was fun having a secret project together oh my gosh jenna rabbit you have a crush on elliot no i don't what are you talking about you totally have a crush on him otherwise you wouldn't be upset right now why can't i be a little bummed that he doesn't want to see me anymore jenna you wouldn't be bummed you would be happy for him but you can't be happy for him because you secretly have a crush on him. Okay, okay, you're right. I do have a crush on Elliot. I knew it. But it didn't start out that way. I was really going to help him out. But then I saw how sweet he was and, you know, it was really cute how much he was wanting to go with her to the dance and he was willing to do anything for her. Even make a fool of himself by being on the dance committee. I know. He just kept getting cuter to me. Oh, and now I really like him and he wants nothing to do with me. Jenna, he doesn't want nothing to do with you. He just doesn't need help with Madison right now. Exactly. He's probably going to end up going to the dance with Madison and they'll live happily ever after in a pet shop built for two and I'll be here all alone. Well, are you going to tell Elliot how you feel? What? No, of course not. I don't want him to think I wasn't really helping him. Elliot seems like a pretty nice guy. I, I don't think he'd believe that. Oh, Emily, what am I going to do now? Thanks for meeting me, Elliot. Of course. 
So I was thinking before we get Brody and Madison alone, we should be more friendly with them. I know Brody, but don't really spend a lot of time with him. And if I just hung out with him randomly, it might look weird to Madison. And you barely even know Madison, so we have to get you guys more FaceTime. So far, I like what you're saying. Why don't we all go out and get some pizza or something, like as a group? Then I'll try to talk as much as I can to Brody, and you talk to Madison as much as possible. Sounds good to me. Oh, hey, Madison. Do you and Brody want to grab some pizza later? Sure. I was going to invite Elliot, too. Elliot? Why? Uh, I don't know. He's been pretty cool to us lately. Oh, okay. See you later, then. Now, when they get here, they're going to want to sit together, which is fine. It's actually easier to get the other pet's attention if you're seated across anyway. Makes sense to me. Oh, wait, so what am I supposed to talk about with her? I don't know, just talk. Oh, uh, Jenna usually gives me some pointers. Well, I'm not Jenna. Just think of something. Wait, here they come. Just act cool and stick to the plan. Uh, okay. Hey, Madison. Hi, Brody. Join our club. Subscribe now.